Hey Anna, what are your New Year's resolutions for 2020? I only have one New Year's resolution and that is to do absolutely everything that I can to help elect a democratic candidate for president. Hey Anna, what can I wear on New Year's Eve that isn't a cliche sequin dress? My suggestion would be that you might look fantastic in a pantsuit and I would suggest that possibly you look at Kristen Stewart, Julianne Moore, Gwyneth Paltrow or Stella McCartney for inspiration. Hey Anna, who do you think is going to make a comeback in 2020? Well, we already know that Albert Ibaz is making a comeback next year. I would also love, love to see the great Phoebe Philo back on the runway or back in our lives in some way, but I have absolutely no insider information if that is going to indeed happen. Hey Anna, are you going to get your own Instagram handle in 2020? When can I follow you? No, I am not going to get my own Instagram handle, but I suggest that you religiously study our Vogue Instagram account. Hi Anna, what do you expect to see in accessories in 2020? Well, we're seeing a lot of linen and raffia, fabrics that are very organic and natural. We're seeing a lot of very fantastical twisted pearl necklaces and then bucket bags, bucket bags and more bucket bags in leather, in canvas, in suede, in every possible fabric that you can think of. Hey Anna, what do you think of couples dressing? Should I match my partner? Absolutely not. I am not a fan of partner dressing. I think everybody should be completely independent. Hey Anna, what do you think of Blake Lively's style? I love Blake's style. I love Blake's style because she's always very true to who she is. She loves fashion. She adores fashion. She never works with a stylist. She always looks like she's having a good time. She likes a bright color, something sparkly, something a little bit sexy, a high heel, a great pantsuit. And of course, she has that amazing, amazing hair. Hey Anna, what do you think is the most stylish TV show right now? Well, obviously I love The Crown. It always looks magnificent, not only in terms of the wardrobe choices, but the entire production values are so amazing. I love the makeup in Euphoria. Also heard a lot about a show called The Eddie, which I believe is set in Paris and is meant to be an update on Sex and the City. And I am therefore very, very hopeful that this might be a TV show that can get fashion right. Hey Anna, how should I redecorate my office? Well, I think just as much as your wardrobe is, your office should reflect who you are. So when somebody walks into your office or wherever your desk may be. It should reflect your personality. So I would suggest looking carefully at the walls because that's probably what you spend most of your time looking at and surround yourselves by things that give you pleasure. Hi Anna, I'm about to turn 30. Just wondering if I should start dressing differently? Absolutely not. Hi Anna, is there a movie, album or show you're most excited for in 2020? Yes, I'm looking forward to hearing Rihanna's album. I'm looking forward to hearing Adele's album. I am very much looking forward to the Lehman Trilogy returning. I'm looking forward to Sarah Jessica Parker and her husband coming back to Broadway. I am looking forward to Hugh Jackman in The Music Man coming back. And I'm hoping that James Gordon will come back to Broadway in a funny thing that happened on the way to the forum. Hey Anna, question for you. What happens when everyone becomes so sustainable that they just start shopping in their own closets? Well, I did hear recently that the great Jane Fonda has given up shopping, but I imagine that she has a very, very large closet to shop from while she remains in Washington demonstrating for climate change and good for her. What a fantastic thing to be doing on your Fridays. But I think it's also important to to remember that fashion gives one so much joy and, and so much sense of optimism. And yes, we should all shop more responsibly, more carefully, thinking about things that really are going to last. But fashion is also about individuality and self-expression and reflecting a moment. And I think it's very, very important to remember that. Fashion is joy.